everybody, Boo here. We're going to be taking a look at Happy Poo SL6 5 to 4 to coin booster enabled. We're going to be sticking with the same strategy as for the SL3 video, which is to go for shorter chains and try to get some time bubbles. But here's a couple things I can share with you guys after getting him all the way to level 12. So, number one, if you're going to miss on a 9 to 16 range, miss on the higher end. So, if you have like a bunch of those jars, maybe some of them are hugging the side of the screen or the bottom of the screen and you don't know what they're gonna blow up for how many symptoms they're gonna hit and whether you're gonna get less than nine or more than 16 go for the more than 16 make the longer chain because if you're gonna get punished you might as well get some coin out of it so even if you don't get an opportunity to make a time bubble getting some coin from a 17 18 19 20 plus chain is gonna be so much better for you than if you get like a four chain and get one coin out of that you know that's not as good <laughs> to say the least anyways the other thing is once you get really good with him the bubble booster item might actually pay off for itself uh, but I, I don't know if I'd really recommend that one if it does break even if you're really good with happy poo then it might be worth it because not only are you breaking even with that bubble booster but if you do hit a nice percentage on that coin booster item you're gonna get uh, quite a bit of a return on that investment but for the more newer players I would probably stay away from that for the time being but anyways check out this video if you have any questions comments anything like that leave that all in the comment section below and as always thank you so much for your likes your subs and your viewership i'll see you guys next time